Hello everyone. I have an HP laptop, HP ProBook 6470B um, notebook, and on it I want to run, I want to install the all new Windows 11. And this computer does not meet up with the minimum system requirement for installing or for running Windows 11. However, I want to play around with it and I want to show you how you can do that. Uh, so meanwhile, I have an installation file in a USB drive and the USB drive is connected to this laptop. To start with, Control or delete. Okay. Here it is. To boot from external drive, I'll go for, I'll press F9. F9, I'll scroll down to the USB hard drive. Click on enter. It's an old laptop. But however, I want to run, I want to see how I can run Windows, um, the all new Windows 11 on it. It looks as though you have started an upgrade and booted from installation media. If you want to continue with the upgrade, remove the media from your PC. No, I'm not doing an upgrade, so I want to do a clean installation. So say if you want to perform a clean installation, instead click no. So I'll go for no. Okay, so I press F, Shift and F10 keys together, and here I have command prompt open before me. So I'll go for, I'll call up the registry editor with it. Okay. Now here is the registry editor. Registry editor has come up. Okay, so I go to the H key on the local machine. I look for system. Then I look for setup. Um, right click on setup. I want to create a new key. I'll call this Bypass Secure Boot Check.
Okay, so I'll set the string values to one. Okay, so you can see the value, the data value here is one. So the data value for both, the data values for both bypass secure boot check and bypass TPM check, they are one. That's all for that. Okay, and these values are all the data values are all set to one for bypass secure boot and bypass TPM check. Close out of this, close command prompt and install Windows. Windows installation begins. Um, I don't have a license now, so I'm just going to use a free trial for some time. Here I will choose Windows 11 Pro. Next. Accept license terms. Next. Then a custom installation. So I'll go for this unallocated space. Uh, next. And then, ooh la la, the installation commences. Okay, so the installation is done and uh, Windows 11 is now starting. The all new Windows 11 is starting up. Just give it a moment. I'll just go on with the rest of the settings. Continue with the initial setup. Uh, my keyboard layout, I'll choose. That's my keyboard. Skip this.
Okay, so right here, the all new Windows 11 is installed on this non compatible computer. And um, quickly, we can run sys, sys info. Take a closer look at the system for see Windows 11 installed, and uh, you see it's HP Pro Book. It's an old laptop it's running Core i5, you know, and all of that. So. So well, I've been able to get the all new Windows 11 Pro to run on a non-compatible uh, computer. Um, there might be issues. Microsoft um, is not in support of running Windows 11 on a non-compatible uh, PCs, computers. So this is just for information, and uh, I hope that this will be useful to someone who wants to try Windows 11 before actually uh, getting a device for it and start using it. This is start.